Hello guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to download and install Kali Linux version 2022.4 on your VMware. Now I'm going to show you step by step. So the first thing we need is VMware. So head to your Chrome browser. Now search for download VMware. And then click on the first link over here, download VMware Workstation Player. Okay, so this is the latest version of VMware at the moment, VMware Workstation Player 17. So scroll down and then click on download now under try Workstation 17 for Windows since we are using a Windows machine. Click on download now and it should start downloading. Now while it is downloading, we also have to download the image file for Kali Linux. So let's open a new tab and then search for Kali Linux. And you can see the first page over here which heads to kali.org click on it now click on the download button over here now you can see kali linux for virtual machines which we are supposed to use but this comes with a pre-built virtual machine which we don't really need since we want to install kali linux by ourselves and then make our changes according to what we want so let's go with the installer images so click on installer images and then you can see over here kali linux 2022.4 change log so just come down here and you can see the installer with complete offline installation, customization and all that. So let's click on the 64 bit and it should start downloading. After downloading both files, you can now close your browser. Now open your download folder and you can see this is VMware player and this is Kali Linux ISO file. So let's install VMware player so double click on it. Next, accept the terms and then next, next, and then next, next, and then install. Successfully installed. Now let's click on finish. Now we can go to our search bar and then search for VMware. Open the app. So we are using VMware Workstation 17 player for free, non-commercial use. Continue. Finish. Now we have to create a new virtual machine. So click on create a new virtual machine. And then this is the installation media. So let's select install disk image file ISO. And then click on browse. Now we have to select the ISO file we downloaded for the installer Kali Linux over here. Now select the ISO file and then click on open and then click on next. Select Linux and then click on the version. Now let's go with other Linux 5.x kernel 64 bits and then click on next. This is our virtual machine name so let's call this Kali Linux. And then next, now set the storage you want to allocate to this machine. Now this is in gigabytes, so I'm just going to give this 80 gigabytes. That should be okay. Now we are going with splitting virtual disks into multiple files and this will be easier for us to move our virtual machine to another computer. Now let's click on next. Now we can click on customize hardware and then make changes to this. You can see this is the RAM of our virtual machine, so I'm going to give it about 6 gigabytes of RAM since I can run up to 16 gigabytes on my PC. Now you shouldn't give more than 40% of your RAM to your virtual machine else it will slow down your host computer. After giving it 6 gigabytes of RAM, I go to the processor section and then I'm going to give it 3 CPU cores since I can run up to 8 on my PC. Now you don't have to give more than what you have. Now to check the RAM or processor of your system, just hold Ctrl Shift Escape key and it will open Tax Manager. And then by the left, you can see performance over here. So once you click on performance, you're going to see the memory, which is your RAM. And then this is the CPU as well. So after setting that, I think we are okay. If you want to use a custom network selection, you can just click on network adapter and then select something else. But we are okay this way. So you don't need to make changes to this. And then click on close. So now I'll click on finish. And we have created a new virtual machine. 
So once we click on play virtual machine, it should initiate the installation. Now we are going with graphical install, so hit enter. You can see the mouse is now in the virtual machine. If you want to move it out of the virtual machine, you can see on the screen, just hold Ctrl Alt. And you can see it is out. Now select the language for the installation and continue. Select your location and continue. Select your keyboard layout and continue. Now the host name, the default host name is Kali and we want to leave it this way and then run the installation. But if you have any other host name you want to replace with, you can use that. But we are going with the default host name, continue. The domain field, we are going to leave it empty, continue. Now enter a full name for this machine, so let's call this and then continue. The username which we are going to use to access our Kali Linux machine, continue. And then this is the password we are going to use to run everything basically, so you just have to be careful, keep it safe, confirm the password, continue. Now select your desired time zone and then continue. Now take note, you can make changes to everything we are doing here even after the installation. So if you mess up something, you can actually go back and then fix it. So let's go with the guided installation disk. So it is going to use the entire disk for the installation. Let's continue. This is the disk which is selected. Continue. All files in one partition. Yes. Continue. And then click on continue to finish partitioning and write changes to the disk. Let's go with yes to enable it to write changes to these disks and then continue. Now this may take some time but you just have to wait patiently. Now we are going with the default desktop environment which is Xface and we don't really need to make any change to this. We just have to continue but if you want to use GNOME or KDE Plasma you can continue with that. So we are just going with the default environment. Continue. Now we have to select yes to install the Grub bootloader. So hit continue. And then you can see over here, select the disk over here. Continue. Now continue to reboot and then log in with your username and password. Login. And here we go. So basically, this is how to install Kali Linux 2022.4 on VMware. This is really easy. I mean, I installed it on VirtualBox earlier, but this was way faster than that. If this was helpful, kindly hit the subscribe button and turn on your post notification. Thank you for watching and I will see you on the next one.